<laughs> I need to live with courage. All right, hey there, everybody. <laughs> Were you did you, did you catch that? A little bit of that, yeah. All right, <laughs> no, so no liquid courage, here, folks. No. Uh, James, aka Mr. Felix here, back with Richard, and uh, we're moving on to our next game, Resident Evil 2, and totally some of you might be wondering why we aren't continuing with Survivor, and uh, that's kind of my... I, I, I can answer that, I can, I can just cut you short there. We need to play something good. Yeah, after uh, after some technical difficulties uh, capturing the footage for uh, that game, and a lot of our... Uh, commentary being unusable we decided we're, we'll return to it in a bit but first we want to wash our palettes with something that's actually decent i've also actually never beaten resident evil 2 all the way i've only played a little bit into the and into i guess the police station was it claire at the time i don't remember i remember seeing a uh, undead brad vickers yeah uh that's something that can occur uh in i think it's claire's uh it can occur in both no, uh, no, campaigns they, they, they actually Oh no, it's Resident Evil 2, yeah. I, I, I really don't know. <laughs> I'll explain uh, when we get along to it. Uh, for now, we're gonna start off with a uh, normal difficulty. Unless you don't have easy. But. No. I'm pretty excited for this, and I'm excited to see how they go along with Resident Evil 2 remake. Oh, I, 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 I like. I hope it's more like Resident Evil 1's remake. Although, I wouldn't turn down gameplay based on. I was gonna say, like, six, would you. You know me, but. Would you prefer, I was gonna ask, would you prefer, like, something similar to, like, the old school games, or, I'd, I'd, like, I'd, more, I'd, like, modern, over-the-shoulder? I, I love Because I'd be down for... I love older, over the shoulder more, and, and the gameplay for RE6. I love it a lot more. I don't know if show back with it and all that. But, I don't think it would work for Resident Evil 2. <laughs> nah. Because, playing through the Tall Oaks as Leon, that's basically what a action-oriented Resident Evil 2 would be. It's a lot. Well, I mean, Resident Evil is linear. Yeah, but it doesn't feel like it. But that was clearly straight line traveling. Yeah, this though, it's like, um, I would actually really like to see it with uh, the more, like, modern... It's like, I think it would allow them to be able to build a much bigger, more explorable city. Yeah. Where you can have a lot more danger around the corner, more but secrets and time, items to, like, I can, find. I can see a lot of people getting really angry about that, though. Oh, yeah, especially people, a lot of people, the old school fans. People just want this they want with better graphics. They just want this to be prettier. And, you know, like, uh, the old school fan in me, I can't really blame them, because it's been a dream of mine to see something like this, but more yeah. updated. But, on one hand... Got here. Can oh! We, can we just talk about his red hair? Can we talk about his fish lips? Just, oh my god. He's got them Angelina Jolie lips. Like, uh, people, people want that. Oh. 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 He's dead, Jim. Not undead, Jim. <laughs> Why'd he bite me? That's usually how I pay the people at my gas stations. I mean, that's just how I say hello. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing personal, it's just how I exchange my currency in exchange for gas. Yeah. Man, what a mess. What could have done this? I see your ventriloquism act is doing well, Leon. <laughs> Am I? What was that? Leon. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what are these? Am I my best friend, Leon? All right, that's far enough. Don't move. I love how he sees these people who... Besides the blood and the weird eyes, they look clearly human, and he's just like, "Well, oh god, that was just brutal." <laughs> yeah, but like I mean, the thing I love is the fact that, especially with a modern horror game like this, they should realize at this point, "Oh, that's a zombie." Yeah. I, I mean, I mean, it's it's 2016 at this point. Oh, hey. Wait! Don't shoot! Get down! We can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Also, I'm trying to remember who pointed this out, but if you really look at it, the models for uh, Claire and Leon in these scenes are the same, like, character model, but with different hair. No. Faces are different. Yeah, his, like... You can see it in the cheeks and eyes. Yeah, Leon's definitely got not, those more not, chiseled cheeks. It's not good, but there is a difference. What's going on? I arrived in town... And the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're ah, good old-fashioned Ari dialogue. First oh, man. I, I really hope that they remake the dialogue. Oh, God. <laughs> this. 
Um, so, do you know why, uh, so you know why, uh, he's arriving in town at this time, right? Yeah, I, I know backstory, yeah. Yeah, like he, uh... He, he was drunk at a hotel or something. <laughs> yeah, he was partying, like, he was, like, celebrating. No, I, I thought he was just kind of upset that his girlfriend dumped him. That, was that it? Yeah, his girlfriend dumped him, and he was right out of, right out of the academy. Yeah, and, and, he, and he was late for work, and that's and, why this. And he arrived at actually the best possible time because he wasn't there with like the rest of no, the cops no. getting killed. The, the problem is he arrived period. <laughs> True, but he arrived after the chaos has happened. Yeah, or at least started. You okay? Initial the initial point that that'd be intense to see. It'd be tall oaks, with people crashing their cars in mass. Okay, okay, okay. Give, give oh, some. here we go. Oh, credit where credits due. Truth be told, though, I think we'd get more of that if it were, like, say, a uh, Resident Evil 3 remake, because that actually takes place during when everything's yeah. going to shit. This is a little bit after, right? Yeah. Claire! Oh, shit, I'm trying to remember, like, the timeline, though, because it can't take place too far after, this, this because... Okay. Okay. When was this place bombed? Yeah. Like, this, that, that red... By rats? Yeah, that was uh, how um, how Raccoon City happened. Yep. But I, I'm, I'm, I, I really hate doing this, but I'm comparing Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 6 right now. That scene where they're separated by the... Uh... Oh, here we go. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, oh. All right, no, 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 going this way. Shit. Oh, at least we have better movement <laughs> this time around. There we go. But that scene where they're separated by the gas car reminds me of Resident Evil 6 with oh. Sherry and Leon. Uh You think, ha you, you think, oh. Oh, okay. Going to uh, Kendo's gun shop. Okay, I remember this. Freeze! Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire! I'm a human! You have to point it out? You, you aren't a zombie, so... <sighs> Sorry about that. He's huge. He is. I thought you were one of them. I thought you were one of them. I don't have blood on me, and I'm not stumbling like a dumbass girl. Yeah, like, um, how... I don't have a clue. He also <laughs> opened a, a door normally and just kind of, yeah. like, took his time walking in, so he's like, all right. See, that's the thing I really don't like about a lot of horror games, that by default, the characters have to be stupid. Yeah, like... And we can talk to him. Safe inside here. Oh, did he, did he just reach I'm over and pat you on the eye. cheek? That's what it looked like. It just... Don't worry, officer. <laughs> Good old Uncle Kendo is here to keep you safe. He locks the door. <laughs> <laughs> Leon's just like, uh, thank you? This is the real romance. Oh, I'd be down for Kendo and uh, Kendo Leon. And Leon. <laughs> a love story that nobody wants. But it's the one we got. Here we are. I uh, got our ammunition and we're gonna take off, but... Yep. Oh, no, there goes... No, there... I'm gonna run over and see if I can grab his shotgun really quick. Can you? Yep. You can? Oh, oh, you God. can. Oh, come on. There. Nope, here we go. <laughs> Alright, come on. There we are. That's not the shotgun he was using, though. Oh, there we are. But yeah, like, uh, depend. No, he was using a double barrel shotgun, and you just was picked he? up, like, a Mossberg or something. Yeah. But yeah, um, depending on which character you choose, you get a different weapon in the beginning. Like, uh, Leon gets the like shotgun, uh -huh. and, uh, Claire gets, uh, this, like, bow gun. Crossbow, basically? Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Steve! St ah, Steve! You can tell it's Steve because he's wearing yellow. Yeah! <laughs> Actually, that's the same model from um, Survivor! <laughs> oh no! Steve! Steve! <laughs> oh jeez! <laughs> oh, yeah. There we are. Gotta bust out the knife! No. Oh damn, I tried to run through. Uh, oh. See, this is the problem I have with the gameplay. It's like when we were trying to play Batman. And, well, not Survivor. Survivor didn't have this problem at all. It just had... Yeah, that was one of the, like, good things of having, like, a first-person camera. But you still had the controls, though, was the thing. 
Damn it. Damn, how many hits did we take? A lot more than okay. I'd like to admit, and I feel yeah. embarrassed by that. It's been a while since I played this, so I'm trying to get back into the... If it makes you feel better, I would have died horribly because I can't roll him into start slashing kneecaps. Like it even <laughs> but yeah, like, one of the ways you get uh, Brad to appear is um, you have to get to uh, a the, certain place. You gotta get to the police station without picking up a single item. Huh. So that means you have to avoid any, like, you know, weapons, herbs, or anything like that. No. But she's not a pug. Haven't you ever just gone to a back alley and a nice lady comes up and she tries to- Oh, see, see, that's a bad touch. Oh, no. Oh, God. There we go. But, yes, that is uh, actually where I found my prom date, actually. You know, on the one hand, I'm looking at, I'm looking at him right now, and I'm thinking to myself, I can see this happening. <laughs> oh, hey, look, we're going into a bus that's kind of like a subway like we did in Resident Evil 6. You're gonna continue to compare this for like as long as I'm uh... not going to be wrong. No, you're not actually. All right, gonna like carefully move on ahead. Oh, there you are, you sneaky little shit. I'm. Well, it's a lot easier way to kill them. True. <laughs> you might want to, you might want to do something about that. Oh, okay. There we are. That was fast. Well, that takes care of that. Can I pick this up? Nope. But yeah, it's the fact that you can't aim. Yeah, nah, like... I'm action at heart. <laughs> yeah, that was how they got the whole, like, a lot more of the whole tension thing going on in these old games. It's like, the controls, you didn't have a lot of freedom with, uh... But the fact that a lot of these deaths don't come from horror, it just comes from the frustration of this. I, li I like I like this game so far. You know, I'm not really playing it. I like the world and story, but... Yeah, gameplay-wise, it's... it's... It's not aged well. But yeah, like, uh, when you get over to this part and you, uh, yeah, head this down is where, here, this that's is where... where he'd yeah. Be. And, and I'm... you get, like, a key off of him? And... Oh, yeah, that's right. I think you get, like, a key where... I'm trying to remember. I think it unlocks, uh, some extra costumes. I th yeah, I think it unlocks a costume or it unlocks a... Oh, no. Doesn't it unlock a, lock a locker where you can get, like, a bag? Or is uh, that something else? Maybe. Now we move on to one of my favorite places. I hear everybody says that. I think my favorite place in the franchise might still be Spencer Mansion, or I was gonna say Ganada Village. Ooh, actually, that's a pretty good choice. Just chapter one for Leon's story. Yeah. And I think a little bit of chapter two. I like it because it's so much. It's much more different than anything we've seen in Resident Evil prior. Yeah, up to the up to that point, you had houses. yeah streets, houses, cities, and stuff. But this was like this very like rural Eastern European village. Not Eastern European, Spanish. Yep, Eastern European, <laughs> Southwest. What? Oh, right. hmm. Also, like, door is locked. We need a card key. The card keys. <laughs> Snake. There are three card keys. Oh, it looks so like dead though. <laughs> <laughs> we probably only have one hit left in us, I'm betting. I tell you though, like, like, uh... <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, man. Man, you look worse than me, and I got, like, beaten to hell and back on the way over here. You must be the new guy. Leon. Sorry, but it looks like your party has been cancelled. You're dying, okay, that's good to know. <laughs> nah, nah, th don't, no, no, don't worry, the, the cake is still there. There's still you and me, and we got the cake, we can make this party happen. No, Leon, please! No, no, please, it's my first day! I already ate the cake. You son of a bitch. Alright, I had to fight. Ada, Ada comes into the room, she sees Leon just leaning into this pipe room with a frosting on his, strawberry frosting on his mouth. <laughs> he just looks up at her over the shoulder no dramatically. Oh, <laughs> it's not what it's not what it looks like. I, it's cake. It's cake. He is the cake. He is just a dead man shaped cake. He's a he's a he's one of those stripper cops, but he's also the cake. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> now go. But and unfortunately, when like others were coming for the cake, he thought they were just playing along, but they were actually right. zombies, and they but ate him. Just hold on. Goodbye, stripper cape, co cape, cape cop. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got our key card, and now we can actually unlock our uh, way through, uh... Did he die? I think he died. He's not going to die, but no, he comes back and he's like a zombie, right? Yeah, he, yeah. uh, he locked the door behind him, so... Wow, he got to that door pretty fast. Yeah, for a guy who was, like, you know... Mortally wounded. Mortally wounded. He managed to, like, book it to that door and just be like, Arr! I'd laugh so hard if it unlocked, uh, the door with the cop. <laughs> It just suddenly click, he's just like, uh, uh well, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I'm still First my stripper got... cape my no. stripper cake cop <laughs> job goes down south and now this. I'd laugh though if there was a cake on Leon's desk in this game. If you can actually open the door. If there was a cake on it and you could it was just a little <laughs> hidden thing that you could interact with it and eat a slice to regain health. <laughs> that that'd be interesting. I'd like Yeah. It's something small and simple. Alright, we're gonna have to get rid of the knife because these old these old games it's it's gonna You're breaking just... my heart, James. <laughs> I know, but it <sighs> Unfortunately <laughs> these were the days before Leon could slide around on his back and chop at the ankles of big business. <laughs> Crowser gameplay is the best way to play Resident Evil. So we got the police Moran Mar uh, uh -oh. that and uh -oh. then this letter this letter is just to inform the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the precinct's rearrangement. The safe with the four-digit lock has been moved from the star's office to the second floor to the eastern office. 2236. I'm not going to remember that. At least it's not bad writing like Survivor. Oh yeah, Survivor's like... I was the, waiting for... The files... Dear diary, there are zombies here. <laughs> Police Chief Irons is so cruel moving our equipment to other parts of the... <laughs> To the precinct. Just urgent notice to other officers. Zombies in the building. Yeah, it makes me wonder who. Uh oh, someone crawling around on the window. Well, let's go check it out. Why would you do this? But yeah, like I don't know who the hell they got. But like the the dialogue and the files are just so. Terrible. Time for dogs in the window. You know, it always made me wonder when I was a kid playing it, what the fuck is that? What? The poster on the wall. What is that? Um... I don't know PlayStation graphics. They make no sense. For To me, it always kind of looked like a zombie face. It, like... It kind of like, like the, the light part at the top is the... Is the, the like, it looks like the, a bald zombie. I thought but. it was like a desk. And like a wall, it's like a picture of a house or something. But yeah, I never could get what oh. the hell that was, but... Well, maybe maybe once the remake comes out, your question will finally be answered. Hey, oh, Steve. Oh. That's not Steve, that's, that's Thomas. THOMAS! Oh. Yeah, well. Well, it's not like I'd want to open the shutters. Yeah, we'll take care of that later. Oh, okay, I guess Thomas is dead. I'm, I'm a little bit awkward. Alright, that's locked. A spade. A spade, huh? Just all of a sudden, man just takes a shovel and just <laughs> the door open. Oh, whoa, that was a. Yeah, very oh. abrupt. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna try and run. I'm gonna try and run because we can't fight him oh with our help like this. Yeah. I wanna take this. Oh, man. Shit. Hey, ooh. ooh, serpentine. Oh, shit, no. Oh, shit. No, Leon! <laughs> Quick, take it! No, shit! Use it! <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh! Ooh. Oh! Ooh. Run! Oh, shit! Oh, I went back down, but well, we made it. We made it. Oh, that was so fortunate. Oh, my shit. That was... Oh, oh Leon. Fortunate. Oh, Leon. You are... you are fucked up, my friend. Fucking lucky, that's what he is. Holy yeah. We lucked out. I thought he was going to pick up more ink. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, no, no. oh, God. Oh, you are... 
Wait, what the fuck is that? Oh, wait. Is it this? It's the same picture. It's yeah. It looks like someone with their arm raised up. I don't see that. Wait, is that? Oh, it's a basketball thing. I think. There's like there's the like player in the jersey. Why would we have so many basketball pictures in a police station? Maybe it's a recruitment picture of some sort. Maybe. Maybe they're just like sports. Yeah. Operation report. The Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by, by zombies. Zombie. Okay. You I was, know, I, I guessed it. If I if I had to choose a word to describe an attack by zombies, it would probably be unexpected because fuck many have been injured the zombies <laughs> many of well, good job well, guys well thank god i mean uh, and even more were killed good uh, good this i mean is like good. we lost our equipment but was we destroyed. took care of, we, we were handling the situation yeah we have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing as many survivors as well as to prevent the disaster from spreading beyond raccoon city <laughs> and as we can see from later games that worked perfectly well Oh, yeah, no, there's never been any games after Raccoon City. No, no. Oh. Let's see, uh, security of armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. On the day before the zombies attack, he made the decision to relocate all the weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent seizure. Why? Irons? Yeah. Irons, you are a cruel man. <coughs> yeah, Irons is a jerk. Wow. Uh, yeah, he's an he's an asshole. It's ultimately difficult for us to locate all ammunition caches. Yeah, he had it spread throughout the building. This is why we're. You see, that's actually a legit reason why we're finding random bits of ammunition all over but the place. For horror games to work, people must be stupid. Why? I'm. You know. Why? I'm pretty sure they don't have to be, but it's become such a, like, thing that's become ingrained with the horror genre that, yeah, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. However, no, duh. It still remains in the underground weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the guard used to access is missing, and we have been unable to locate the key. Good. Good, that's you very know, good. You know, this is why you have... Doorbusters. And also maybe why you shouldn't listen to your obviously insane police chief who's like, no. let's hide all the ammunition like Easter eggs. This is a friendly reminder that police chiefs are very rarely actual police officers. They are elected officials. They don't they don't know Chief Irons. <laughs> Please. This is all your fault. Let's Recorder see. David Ford. Operation report. 1 p.m. The West Barricade has been broken through and another exchange ensued. We have sheltered the injured in the confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. Twelve more people were injured in the battle. Three additional people were killed following an appearance of an as yet unknown creature. It is identified by missing patches of skin, razor like claws, blah blah blah, blah, blah liquors. liquors. Yep, so that's... That's the operation. I wish report. we'd found that report before. You know, before we had to deal with one of them and almost die. Poor, now poor Leon. Leon. Leon's doing the survivor shuffle. Can we just like buy a soda and gain some health? I was gonna say like, uh, see, uh, hidden things like that. I hate when they're vending machines that you can't interact with. Oh, I know. Like you, the thing I love about about Mega Man Legends is that you could buy soda to recover health, <laughs> and you could just kick it for free soda or blow it up and kill yourself. Oh god, I'm just gonna drag my- There is- wait, behind the meeting room there is this fireplace with an oil with an oil painting. The title is, A Sacrifice to the Hellfire. I- 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 who- That who, is exactly- is the chief architect here? That is exactly what I expect in my police station. Yeah. I mean, I've taken a tour before, and you know, we had our, you know, we had normal offices, but you, you know what? Hellfire. You know what? Fuck it, though. I'm burning this, and I found a jewel hidden behind yeah, the painting. This is what this is what police officers do with money, James. I mean, I've been new I've, gear, vehicle repairs, hidden gemstone behind paintings that can only be found by lighting a fireplace. Normal, nor, normal police budget funding. 
You're laughing, but I'm serious. Oh, this is what you do. Oh, God. Uh, no, I, I agree with you. I've been to uh, I've been to plenty of uh, field trips as a kid to the police stations. And James, those weren't field trips. You were arrested. Yeah, that is true. I mean, I was the one hiding all the ammunition. And <laughs> You're the jerk who they couldn't find with the key. Yeah. Wow. How'd you get out of Raccoon City? You just <laughs> you just, you weren't there that day. I, you I, were out fishing, and then you decided to play hooky for a few months. Yeah, I, I, I kind of did a Leon thing, where, but instead of drinking, I was just on a fishing trip, and I, I realized, just, oh, oh shit! And you're just sitting there, and you're rowing back to shore, and also you just see this explosion in the distance. Like, nope, back. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, Steve. And that is Steve, and his brother, Steve, and his sister. Oh, fuck, you are booking it! Wow, she fast. Wow, wow, wow she really in on it. Well, Internet, we'll be right back after these uh, following messages. Hey, Steve. 